Welcome to our study called Confused, or Confusion, uh, in Genesis 11, 1 through 9. That's what we're going to be talking about in this study this week. And uh, if you remember in the first 10 chapters of Genesis, we've witnessed a lot of history already. We saw the creation of the world um, and everything that lives on it. We saw the creation of man, the special creation of mankind, with the first woman and the first man. Then there was the first temptation, and then we saw the first fall into sin. Then sin came into the world, and then we saw the first murder, and we saw the first person to turn their back on God. We also saw how humanity became more and more corrupt. And though God preserved his followers through each generation, mankind became evil. And so we saw the flood. Noah came along, he was born. He grew up, and with him came a renewed hope from, from God's people. But God commanded Noah to build an ark for the salvation of his family and the animals. Noah did all that God commanded him. He did everything he was supposed to do. But we also noticed that Noah was a normal guy, and he sinned. And that sin opened the door for his son to sin, and then came the curse of Canaan, and all that happened afterwards. And it really brought about, you know, the, the, the fall of man with Adam kept on going. But yet not all is lost in this. See, that would be a very depressing story if that's all there was. But that's not all that happened. Because we have the line of Shem. We have what, what the Bible says that the God, the Lord God was the God of Shem. And that's encouraging because now we have at least one guy <laughs> after Noah that is a follower of God. So Noah's sons have children after this and they begin to have more and more kids and they have kids and the new world begins and society begins to grow and civilization begins again. And uh, people began to move about on the earth and they finally make their way to the valley of Shinar, the land of Shinar. And the important events that Moses records for us here are just like the other important events that he has recorded already. You know, it has ramifications for our lives today. Uh, obviously, creation, when he recorded that, obviously that's impacting our lives because we wouldn't be here if he didn't, God didn't create. Um, the fall has a huge impact on our lives, clearly. Uh, that's why we're all sinners. And then the flood happened, which shows that God doesn't mess with sin. He's not playing. He's, he's, nice. he's got wrath against sin, and He will destroy sin. So we've seen that already. And that impacts our lives uh, every day. We also get to now to this historical account of the Tower of Babel. And it's one of those events that we feel the consequences of today. You know, as I was working on this uh, study, I was thinking about... Uh, things that were left undone. There's a lot of things that are left undone in my my past. You know, there's projects that I wanted to do, just didn't get around to doing them, or things that uh, just didn't work out. So, a lot of things left undone. And I was thinking about things around my area here where I live, and there's actually a fairly large project, a, a very large monument to projects undone. And it's, uh, it's called the Road to Nowhere. It's, it's a highway. You can look it up. It's called the Amstutz Expressway. Now, expressway planners, and I, I had an idea of creating a highway that would uh, carry uh, people from uh, 94, which is the main highway in our town, and would carry people from Highway 94 over to the, uh, the lakefront here along Lake Michigan. And there's a naval base nearby, so it connected to the naval base. would go up uh, along the lakefront, probably even extend up into Wisconsin. And uh, so they had this great idea that they were going to build this highway. And it was going to move all these people and make it safe for uh, factories and industry along the lakefront to be able to move things. And uh, it would help the uh, factories and industry to grow. But the land was secured. Funding allowed them to start the highway, so they built this section of highway. But then uh, an economic downturn in two of the major towns that's going through happened, and they couldn't finish. There was no more funding. 
uh, they had to put on hold and it was never completed. And so you got this little section where you can take another road that goes through like a downtown area, or you can take the Amstutz Expressway, which saves you like two minutes, three minutes maybe, if you hit the if you don't hit the lights. But um, so yeah, so you have this uh, this project that was people had this plan, they had all this stuff ready to go. They're like, yes, we can do this. It's going to be great. Boom, things happen, plans fall apart. And it stands as a reminder of one of man's plans left undone. That's what the Tower of Babel, one of the main themes that we'll talk about, is because of what you know, man's ideas. They had this plan, they had this idea that they wanted to accomplish, but yet someone else had a plan that overrode their plans. And obviously, that was God. So that's what we're going to be looking at in this study this week. Next time, we'll look at the next uh, main point.